have set up an, a very simple income statement here for the Widgets Corporation. And as you can see, my income statement encompasses columns A through column G. So the first thing I want to do to, my, to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing is to center my title with the statement. One of the easiest ways to do this, and there are multiple ways, but one of the easier ways is to merge sales and center the text. So what I'm going to do, since the um, income statement, again, encompasses columns A through G, I'm going to select all the sales on the first row with the company name from columns A through G. Then I'm going to open up my toolbox by clicking the toolbox icon in the toolbar. That will open up my formatting palette. And I will come down to the alignment and spacing section. Click on Merge Sales, and then center the text horizontally. I will now do that for line 2. Select the sales, merge them, center the text. Again, line 3, select the sales, merge the sales, center the text. One other thing I would like to do is I would like to move my total expenses heading slightly to the left. So there's a couple of ways we could do this as well. We could change the column width by grabbing the column bar on the right side of column B and dragging it to where we would like for that to be. Sometimes that could mess up other things with your spreadsheet. So I'm going to show you another way to do this. So if you want to slide this one over, you could, as we did with the title, merge these two cells together. So again, select the two cells you're wanting to merge. Click Merge Cells. And notice when you first merge cells together, it justifies the text in those merged cells to the left. But I don't want it, mer I don't want it justified to the left. I want the text centered. So now it's approximately where I would like for it to be. Another formatting issue with a financial statement is there are some numbers you may want lines under. For example, if you're adding up numbers, like our total expenses, you may want a line under that last expense signifying that you're adding those numbers together. So to do that, select the cell you wish to place the underlining in, then click on Format, then click on Sales, and then in the Format Sales box, you want to select the Font tab. Then go down to Underline and click on Single Accounting. Click OK. And you will notice it put the line in there for me. In addition, I would probably want a line under Total Expenses as I'm taking sales revenue less my total expenses to get me net income. So I'd want to follow suit with total expenses line with format, sales, font tab, single accounting, OK. Now for my net income number, which is the final number, this was my goal for the statement, I want to place two lines under that number, so a double underline. So go back to format, Sales. Now under the underline box, select Double Accounting, and you can see a preview of it here. Click OK, and you will notice it put two underlines under the net income number.